still demo. My name is Chong Zubei, my IGN is Chong Zubei. But in some other games, my IGN might be low purity, low speed, low fitness, or some other good. Alright, so let's go on. So, in our still demo, we have some stuff. They are largely unimportant. I'll just be telling you about the things of the game and whatnot. So, first, we have some enemies. They are four dogs, and they have their own characters. So, the wild dogs go first because they have agility of 3. And high agility always goes first. Your cards have agility of 2 and agility of 1. Normally, you would have a ring up here, and on this ring, you can see a card for attack, standby, or move. However, in this case, I've actually reloaded the tab, so that means the actions that I made has been saved and I can't do it. So, all I did here was attack, 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 and not so you might be wondering what happens if the enemy has a GDP of 3 and you have a GDP of 3. There is a hidden coin toss under which card goes first. So here, the scan part of the demo teaches you how to play cards. So here I play 9 in the charger, because only first is the result. Then, in order to play cards from your hand to the battle field, it actually takes one standby turn. Then you take the step, stand by, and move it to the battle field. So the next I want to suggest is range. So this card has a range of 2. What range this screen does is it allows you to skip through one row of units and to hit the end. So this is range 2 and this is row 2. So you can skip row 1 and hit enemy row 1. I was saying you have got a third, sorry, a fourth unit card on row 3 and it has a range of 2. You can skip the second row, you can skip the first row, but it cannot hit the enemy in the cards because you can only skip one row. So say if I play this card instead on the first row, which is one 3, this card is up here on slot 3. So it can actually hit row enemy number 1 or row enemy number 2. So that's how range works. So how does the card determine which card it will attack? That is actually you can't. This is purely random unless it is an action skill. There's action skill called target, sorry, pinpoint and it will allow you to target which enemy you want to attack. So anyone is wondering, is there an element of chance and lock in this? And yes, it's huge. The, the, the difference between hitting the right enemy unit card and the wrong enemy unit card plays a vital role in this game. So here it teaches you to revive the enemy unit dead and revive. So what happens in revive is you usually have three copies of a card in the file. However, once you revive, you lose a copy. Also, the demo is about initially showing you a different file here. And I can't show you the actual file until I can play. So, right, so you can see here that the, actually the boulder has 30 defense and you use your card to reduce this defense by using this action skill by paying 1 SP to do so. Set a random enemy unit within range to defense equal 0 and do damage and then hit. Yes, random. And yes, that sucks. So, narration time. This guy has number 2 more dogs to protect him. So, with me, it teaches you about start skills. So, start skills will trigger an asset action phase by 4 enemy units go. So, start skills. Start skills. All units gain 5 defense. Start skills. All units gain 10 attack and 5 defense if they are solar kingdom units. This here is solar kingdom. Next to the card type, below the steps, you can see here is card type solar kingdom captain. And this is a solar kingdom knight. So one thing I have to note is, think about this here, say stats this conditional use refresh level 3 and higher. What refresh level 3 and higher is actually this number here. It actually shows refresh level 2, so by all rights it actually shouldn't trigger. Uh, this is the demo and hang. Alright, so I can actually show you some of the cards in this file. So we can see there's one copy, two copy of the foreign night captain, because he hasn't died yet. And we only have one copy of the sunlight knight because he has died and we have revived him. So that's like one of the You actually play this card, the might be a jump in the range tool, like I said earlier. This card is not good because it actually engages your own unit as an open skills. Open skills are skills that play when you play the card into the into the set position. So it says here one friendly unit kills the PHP and can't engage. Why is engage not good? Is it because it prevents your start skills from being triggered? So you do not get the defense, or if I engage the other guy, you do not get the attack, and you do not get the defense. Kind of bad. 
Oh, it'll be much happier if you can actually engage the enemy with it. So what other cards can have here? We got this supporter card, start skills which heals 20 HP to all your units if they are Solar Kingdom. And an action skill that allows you to engage one friendly unit and then engage one enemy unit. Very useful card, but she has an agility of 4. So she might go second in comparison to the enemy units with agility 4. So just something to consider. Stable card for almost all mid to big refresh for house. For a card, you have a 4 level, which means you need 4 refresh, 7 HP, 20 attack, and defense. Her skills here do damage and attack the defense to one random enemy unit. It actually triggers on a counter skill. Basically, when the enemy unit hits her, she hits back. We are the beeps. Very good card. Very good card. Why is this good card? Because we want this card to actually die. This is a sacrificial card in order to die. If you want your units to die so they can trigger LP cards. I'll show you what LP cards are. But basically, they are life points. And when units die and they get removed from the battlefield, they trigger your life points. However, take note that you have a limited amount of life points. If your life points reaches zero, you die. As in, in you lose. Kassara Pasaran, L1, 10 HP, 10 attack, 3 GD, 2 range. Useless card. Action skill, basic equation. You need 2 SP to get 3 SP. Sounds good, but very rarely in the game where you actually have 2 spares. In fact, I can say that if you have spare SP, you are doing it wrong. Because you're not summoning enough units, you're not summoning strong enough units. Now, I'll take a look here. We have one unicorn knight. He has a stat, so she has the skill of buffing all your knights in it with defense plus 5. So, what I'm like is, you can see here under unique card type, so I can jump knight. And that means she's a knight. Now, you can see here this card here for a spear knight is a solar kingdom warrior. So, this card will not get the defense buff. However, this card will get the defense buff. She also has a trait. Traits are say passive skills. So, if this is a character, you do an additional 30 plus 20 damage to that character. Right? This skill, carry your life, do damage. 30 plus 30 to one random invasion enemy unit. It used to be targeted enemy unit, however, it somehow it becomes random. I'm not sure that this is an intended nerf, but I do not like this change, so let me just kind of probably see where it will use. A shame. Agree more skills, open skills. So you spend 3 SP and get 4 SP in return. Mm. Good card, actually. It's a very good card. It's quite stable play for a level 2. So on this card, born with the foreign, revive a level 2 unit. Usually people do not use this skill because it only costs 1 SP to revive a unit anyway. And if you play this card, you're actually losing on tempo because your play this card, you cannot play a unit card at the same time. Yes, you can only play one card per turn. And we have this one alive. Alright, so let's, you know, let's, let's play that way. Attack, do 40 damage because it was a path earlier. Attack, do... 25 damage to this wolf. Into this. Seconds. So now he has to realize his wolf. And we can play cut. So if we increase it to 3, then we can play more cuts to this here. However, for some reason, they are still not allowing us to do three more mage. Alright, so let me just try to show you if you can play counters. So, we will play a level from here. Your SP come for. Come on. Alright, so your SP was fine. And I play a level 4 card, so my current SP should actually be 1. This is a bug in the game over here. We are taking it done. And you might wonder what happens if you rest. So if you rest, you kill one fourth of your giving HP. So this guy got 25 HP. If I rest, you'll recover one more and that is 30 HP. So he increases by 30 HP. So one more thing, let's see now. So I can do this one. I'll show you something funny. Is that We'll intentionally play a non-Solar Kingdom game. Solar, this is a monster quest, let's play this one. Skill, and this one. Skill, 
up. See that? We actually increases the defense attack of the card in the set. This actually shouldn't happen. First of all, this card is a monster. It's not a solar kingdom, so it actually shouldn't get a plus 5. Sorry, the plus 10 attack and plus 5 defense from this card. Because it's not a solar kingdom unit. But, oh well. So, sadly, our Flora Garden did get hit. Let's try to fix it. We will move this guy down here. So it will increase the chances of your Forest Guardian being hit because as you can see you can't target any unit. You're moving in. However, you might know that this guy has range 1. So yes, if I move him down, he cannot attack. Alright, let us play a card. What card shall I play? We shall play. Alright, let's play this guy. See whether his actions actually works. Oh yeah, I forgot to keep an eye out the SP, but uh, we have already blown the SP broken, so that's no point. <laughs> right, nothing, nothing. The buffing in the old game doesn't mean that fast. Right, let's try to skill. Spend 2 SP to gain 3 SP. Gain 3 SP. There we go, 4 SP. Usually buffing is quite slow, but since this is a demo and it's X. Basically, it shouldn't happen. So, yeah. The buffing actually happens fast. Let's see if you can leave this guy to die. Can I revive him? Oh, I can't revive him. That's great. Great. Mm, look at the range 3. Right, I'll show you my main battle. So, we play range and we play at the bottom. And I'll show you that we can't beat anyone. The unit gets locked. Oh, I see. So these demo so they're actually locking you. So right, there you go. Come to skill. Hands back. Let's see the location. Press the press the last about soul cards which are actually LP points. So there's three different types of LP points. Three LP, two one LP, one LP, one LP. There's also at least two LP. So in order, one LP cards give great soul skills. Basically this gives two SP. Say if the LP is two then it will give you only one SP. This card does 30 damage to all enemy units and engage some other units. Basically, think of it as an X. Yes, think of it as an X. It's 13579, which is still 468. This card, minus 60 HP from max HP. This card, if your risk is for lowers and for your first unit from symmetry to the card Basically, when you revive, your card, descent from foul, is sent to the symmetry. And 3 LP cards, they are mostly useless, but some of them are quite good, but in all 3 LP cards, they usually affect the entire group. For example, this says all units, meaning even your opponent units get this, this next HP plus. Okay, so, we're going to get this now for kind of So I'll stop right here and then I'll resume. Alright, so it has resumed and the enemy has backed me. So it shows this now fully power your soul cast and your army can be coming to the other game process and demo And demo aims. So when the next version of demo comes up, I'll post up the second time of this let's play and I'll resume from here. Thank you very much for watching. This is John Zirin and I hope to see you again. Bye.